Hey everyone, we're the hosts. My name's MJ. My name is Adam. Today we're going to be talking about graduation ceremonies. It is that time here in Japan uh, and around the northern hemisphere. Spring is around. <laughs> and yeah. it is warming up everywhere. All yeah. right. Here in Japan, the ume, the plum trees are blooming. The flowers are looking beautiful. And soon the sakura, the cherry blossoms will be blooming. And that is the mark of a new coming of age in a way for many things but yeah. for many students many children they're going to be graduating and becoming uh, uh more of an adult moving on to the next step <laughs> if you will yeah that's true so today we're going to be focusing on what it's like what it was like for me and adam to graduate from our high schools because i think many people in japan you know you've seen movies and TV shows where graduations are happening, but what was it really like? So Adam, please, let's hear like a story. What do you recall <laughs> happened during your high school graduation ceremony? Well, to be honest, I didn't even go to my graduation ceremony. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Turn of events. I know we had a, like wow. a, a prom ceremony. But I yeah. don't remember actually going to my graduation ceremony. And if I did, it was probably just like all of the students in the class um, going together in that graduation year to okay. the great hall or to like, because I went to a Catholic school. We had a mass at the church or something like that. But okay, okay. Yeah, it was something similar to that, close to that, because we had prom night which I also didn't go to, but that's like a all dinner, right. a big dinner um, for all the students. So from what I remember, yeah, there wasn't like in the TV shows, and like in the movies and stuff, how everybody goes and they call your name and uh, there's a whole bunch of people. And okay, at the end, everyone throws up their hats and the frame yeah. freezes or we all do a oh, high five yeah. wait, wait, and wait. the frame freezes. Wait, wait, so your school doesn't do that or you just didn't go so you didn't experience it i remember taking graduation photos okay and i remember getting my diploma i think i got it in yep. the mail and so they uh, might have given the diplomas out at the prom but i didn't go because i was kind of like not not a super shy but i i was like nah i'm not so excited about graduation <laughs> All right. It was oh, just another day wow. for me. Yeah. So that's what happened. Turn of events. So Turn of events. that is Adam's personal experience. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what we said at the beginning of the video. Yeah. Personal experience. Right. But in general, mm -hmm. in, you mentioned it, right? Like yeah. Yeah. People, like above, the whole graduating class and gathering, right. the principal mm -hmm. of the school calling each kid up. Yeah. You know, one, one at a one. time, giving the diploma. Yeah. You know, the throwing the hats at the end and stuff so, right 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 that still happens on canada no is, yeah is of that course. like the norm it's i, I feel it, yeah i feel it's the norm and i feel it depends on how big the school is my high school at the time was only a total of 2000 students sounds like a lot okay but that's mm. like at the time it was uh five different grades so the whole oh, school wow. was just 2000 students and yes yes I think my class was maybe like a hundred students. So it's not that much compared to right, a, school, right, yeah. a bigger school that has like a football team and all these other kinds of sports and like huge amount of kids where they all have this big celebration and they all throw, it's not as mm -hmm. dynamic as like a hundred kids in a field throwing up hats. Yes, yes, right? yes. But yeah, but yeah but like it does you're happen, mentioning yeah. It, yeah. Again, yeah, and that yeah. is like the big like kind of picture perfect right yeah graduation, graduation. ceremony that you'd yeah. see in north america right. and you know my high school was a massive high school like uh -huh. people would mistake it for a like a small university campus because oh, wow. we okay. had a, like almost like four thousand kids and wow. it was massive so what we would do for our graduation ceremony uh it we would use the entire football field outside wow for all the class to sit down in chairs and stuff and we would yeah. use the bleachers for all like all of our friends and families to sit down and watch the ceremony happen so it worked oh. out pretty well i oh, think nice. you know yeah. that setup but also like one big difference i feel 
in Japan, it's happening right in the spring. So I guess the weather's getting warmer. True. But in North America, it's in the summertime. Yes. So it's really hot. So right. most of the time, I feel like it's outside. No? If it's like a big, if it's like if big it's a school, big school, yeah, for sure. You have a field, you right. go outside. So in your case, I mean, you didn't see it, but where you know where it happens, right? Where you said like it was like in a banquet hall. So there was not a lot of okay, students. Okay. So we had like a banquet hall, like a, a very yes, yes. fancy special night for kids going to the next step of their lives. So like another thing I really remember is like um, it was held on a weekend. So I've overheard that in Japan, it's usually on a week day day yeah 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 which yeah, and- like that's that sucks yeah. <laughs> because like most of the pe- parents out there you know mm-hmm. are working and mm-hmm. stuff so it's like yeah. i guess you yeah you can take the day off right and i'm sure many people do but it seems like it's more a difficult thing where it, why wouldn't it not be on a weekend right yeah or at least on a friday that was struck me as is a little like oh oh okay not sure why but all right all right they do that and like you know there's there's the special kind of uniform that we have when we graduate mm-hmm. high school and yeah. it's that gown it's that like right. poncho or poncho, something, yeah. right <laughs> yeah. a one piece super xl open loose <laughs> one piece dress almost for everybody <laughs> with for a everyone sash. yes sometimes you get the sash around you oh okay yeah. okay uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I and this that's... is like the same as university too yeah right? yeah, yeah. University this uniform well. thing yeah yeah, yeah. and you know, it, with that uniform, there comes the hat as well. That uh-huh. very strange, almost, you know, it, if you didn't know anything about the culture and any, like, it, it kind of looks like a cult. You know, <laughs> it's like, I don't know what these group of people are doing, but it's with a little square, scary. Everyone with looks the, square the same. Hats? Square hats. That just seems like it's not going to work well. It's going to blow away with like strong wind. It's like half shower cap, but then. So it's like tight on your head, like a swimming cap, but then it's just like flat. Like, are oh, we, yeah. you know, pallet balance something off from there. It, it's a really, really strange, yeah, very strange kind of like attire that I don't even think we 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 really look at and think about like where it came from. Where's the history behind it? But looking at it, I'm like, that's it's kind of weird. We're in Japan. It's like you're just most of the people are in suits in your school uniform. I think usually, I'm like, oh wow, it's very different from high school for us it's like you can't wear you just put this gown over and you're set and that's it and then another am- amazing thing that like i really thought of and saw the difference between japan and and north america was receiving the diploma right mm, yeah I feel like in japan it's like it's in like a folder or it's it's a flat piece of paper that yeah. has your name and it uh-huh. says you graduated and stuff right and the way they present it, you know, double hand, almost like a giant na- meishi, you know, business yeah. card. <laughs> you they take you with two hands, the bow, right? Right. So that does happen in a different, majorly different way in North mm-hmm. America. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You, you got you, you need both hands? Yes. <laughs> yes. But guess what? In North America, we don't bow as often uh-huh. or, or at all, pretty much. We shake hands. So what right, you gotta yeah. do is, you use one hand to receive the diploma because the diploma is rolled up like a scroll. That's true. Yeah. The tube. Yeah. With a ribbon around it. So, and I feel like maybe in Japan, like it's bad to like what, like like fold, fold money and stuff. Yeah, maybe it's yeah. not nice to fold stuff. So right. rolling it, I'm sure everyone is like, you roll. I'm like, yeah, it's rolled. <laughs> like it's like a banku hand. Yeah. <laughs> so you take it out with the left hand as the principal gives it to you. And then with your right hand, you shake. So I always thought like, yeah, like, of course, when you're going through it, it didn't seem so strange. But now from like a different culture's perspective, right, right. where, you know, shaking hands isn't a thing and you have to receive something with two hands. Two hands, right. You can't fold anything. It makes it. Yeah. yeah. So that's like one thing that's just like, well, okay, different, interesting. Uh-huh. And then like, oh, dude, the tassel. You remember yeah. seeing the tassel before on the hat. Yep. Yep. I was oh, the just going to say of that. It changes. Once you're graduated, you have to change it. To the other side, the left side, I think. Yes, I think so, it starts on your right. Yeah, it starts on your right, and then when you when you receive your diploma, Call your name up, Adam, get your diploma, and everybody you at the same time. Yeah, you've all graduated. Change your Flip tassels it. to the left side. Yes, right. yes. Congratulations, everyone. That's it. 
Yeah, you shoot me, what you? Yeah, that's it. Like, done. You, well, you just off. put it over, and then, <laughs> and then you toss the hat. But yeah, it is such an interesting thing. And then you know, ceremony finishes. There's okay. probably like a band. I feel like it, I think in Japan they like they sing songs and stuff. Like the oh, students yeah. Yeah. sing graduation songs. Yeah. In the U, I mean, in the U.S., I don't remember any song. Like there was a band that played, mm -hmm. but there was. Yeah. I don't think anyone sung. They, I know they have like a school song and. Most schools okay. have their own song, so I'm pretty sure the band played the school song, plus yeah. of course the national anthem, and then the graduation yeah. Yeah. song. And then the graduation ceremony finishes. Uh -huh. uh, usually, what happens at the end, like all the friends get together and yeah. pictures are taken. You know, parents are saying hi to other friends' uh -huh. parents, and we're greeting teachers and stuff. And Thank like, you. Congratulations. And, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. There's For no more classes after that. And that's one thing that I do remember is that after the graduation ceremony, a lot of the kids who graduated, there's the um, the dinner, the prom, right? And then yeah, yeah. after prom, there's an after party where the friends get together without parents, without teachers, and just have fun, like without, you know, we're officially adults now. We're graduating. Oh, okay, okay. So that's the graduation ceremony in uh, North America, America yeah. and Canada. From what we remember, maybe right. things have changed nowadays, but it's definitely different from graduation ceremonies that happen here in Japan. Totally. So in the comments section, let us know everyone, what do you think? Were, did you have an idea of what North American graduations were like? Were you correct? Let us know mm. in the comments Yeah. and like and subscribe. But that's it. We'll see you on the next, on the next step. step.